Hey guys and gals, how goes it? My name's Jamor and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We're going to start today off with the Jacob mission with Darwin there, who's arguing with somebody. It did have the voice down there, it don't happen to it. But anyway, let's get to it. On the origin of syrup. Ah, his book, The Origin of Species, it's clever. I have told you before, sir, I had nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I say. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Bah, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! Bah! Oh, damn you, drive! That is Richard Owen. A vile, despicable wretch of a man. Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Get him! Okay. I don't want to do this. Thank you. Oh. Well, that I can do. Come on. How much of a beating this type of vehicle could take? How about a tree? Or not? I just have a few questions for you, sir. Whatever it is Darwin wants, I will not give in. Something harder. Walk on, go. What about Starek soothing syrup? Soothing syrup? I wager your life, Mr. Owen, that you know something. I shouldn't have got that upgraded to reduce the damage. There may be some truth to that, but you do know who created it. Tell me. I will not utter a word on the matter. I am a gentleman, sir, and I. You will have soiled boards if you find something hard enough to hit. Was that so hard? Yes. That's a pain. What are we gonna do now? That's it. All right, we're doing a second mission. That was nothing. Mr. Fry, I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes, we had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starek's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined yeah, his phrenology. Career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Good luck with that beard. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Hello, birds. What are you eating? That's a 
big rat. How's it going? Don't mind me. This is a very low vantage point. Up we go. Okay, we're inside. Theater things. Yep. Oh. Nice bloody hamper. I hear somebody throwing up back there. Yow. Ooh. As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. I think that's called death. it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Litson. I'll give you a cadaver. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. Mm -hmm. What's with the handprint? That's interesting. I'll go for that unique kill. How to do it. What's the matter? Peculiar about that Dr. Elliotson. Oh, young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. Hmm. Ooh. That'd be cool. And there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key. Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. He's got the key.
again. How do I get downstairs? Find the electrotherapy part now. Right there. I need to get both of them. Still downstairs more. Shut up, you're dead. Over here, put this in here. Extremely hard. He doesn't find it strange and still wearing shoes. Yeah, kick that rat. It's like a nightmare. Here it is, Doctor. continue our experiment shortly. In a moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. Yeah, Since closer. both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific Violent behavior, you brain. say? How about this? Is that violent enough for you? It ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Sterrick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. I hear a child. A child who believes they can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? Well, that was weird. I was also expecting that to be more of a little pop out and slice real quick. Was slower than I thought. Hmm. 
Notice I'm doing all this surrounded by people. How's it going, guys? Yep. And home free. Alright, I'm gonna end this one here. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. That took longer than I thought, but... No oh well. What's happening? Elliot's an expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but you, simply Fina. content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist! Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. And up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. Wow. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin. You disrespect the very city that works day and night, so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. Right. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Right. Sorry to interrupt, Initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otzoberg. That wasn't Earth weird. Runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Okay. Hi. Great view. God, you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Ooh. Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the initiate continue to sync the data. But I want to help. Loading screen done. Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starrick has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starrick's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Big Ben. Has to be. A letter. For me? Stop saying that.
Anyway, like I was saying, where am I even at? I don't know. But like I was saying, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button if you did. Subscribe for more. It helps me out a lot. And as always, there's more on the way. And looks like I'm going to switch to Eevee for now. Yeah. For our next episode, I will be playing as Eevee. But until then, I hope you have a nice day. Goodbye.